In this series, I'm starting over as a broke level 1 player with the goal of becoming a GTA Online veteran. But in order to do so, I'll have to complete every objective on this list while having a limit of 2 hours a day to play. So with that being said, welcome back to another episode of Rags to Riches 2 hour edition. Today I'm going to spend 4 million dollars on one of the most fun and best vehicles in the entire game. And that of course is the Scramjet. Now as you can see, it costs 4 million dollars and it's one of the most fun vehicles in the entire game. It's weaponized, has boost capabilities and has jumping capabilities. Of course, I'll show you that later in this video, but since I only have $3.5 million as of right now, I'm gonna have to do a few money methods in order to pick it up and be able to customize it. And the first money method I'm gonna do was just introduced into the game, and it's the new pizza deliveries. If you go over to this icon on the map, there are three in total you're going to be able to walk up to it and we could start delivering pizzas for the business. Make sure you're not a CEO or an MC president and now we could press right on the D-pad to start it up. Now these are brand new, they don't pay out a ton of money, but if you complete three deliveries this week, you're going to get a $100,000 bonus, which is decent money and it's also just something new to try. So now that we've started up the delivery, we could see there are five locations we have to go to. We're going to deliver pizzas at each and then we should be paid out, I believe it's roughly twenty to $30,000. Although this does work similar to taxi work where you do get a tip per each customer so if you deliver the pizzas in decent time you will get more money and you could tell how well you're doing by the heat level on the bottom right it represents how hot the pizzas still are all right here we are at the first delivery drop it off there you go let's now head over to the next location and unfortunately i just got kicked from my session i'm gonna have to restart the whole mission okay so i've restarted the delivery and here is my third pizza that i've ever delivered which means i should get one hundred thousand dollars and there you go that's one hundred thousand dollars Let's now go finish the last three and leave it there. And here I am just in time for the final delivery. We got it here right before the heat ran out. So we got all five deliveries completed. We just made 21,000 and it took just over 10 minutes to complete. Using the default bike can be a little bit tough because it is hard to go up hills, but if you pop wheelies as often as possible, that will help you out and make things a lot faster. Now you can buy a better delivery bike for about 150,000 if you wanted, which would make the deliveries a lot faster, but I just don't think it's necessarily worth it considering you're only making roughly 20 to $30,000 for each of these deliveries. Now there are three different pizza places that you can do deliveries for. Each of them will pay you out the same and have the same kind of process for it. But once you complete a delivery, it will then take 48 minutes for those deliveries to reset. So as you can see, the one that was up here on the north part of the map that I did deliveries for is no longer here, but after 48 minutes, it will reappear. Anyways, with that being said, although we're not making tons of money with these deliveries, I do think it's a great way for new players to make some money, and it's not a bad way to make some quick money if you really need it. But now that we've done that, I have two other ways to make money, with the first being picking up the money from the wall safe at the nightclub, and then also selling off my nightclub stock. Now recently, I've been going AFK a little bit more than I have before, I didn't go AFK for about a month or so, but I recently found a new way to do it, which is to head over to your apartment. And in your apartment, if you sit down at the couch and watch the TV, you can then scroll through the channels. And once you get to the point, where you're spectating other players or get to that channel, you can then just sit there and leave your game running for as long as possible. Of course, you have to be in a public session where you can actually spectate other people, but just so long as people are in that public session, you could be AFK the entire time and you won't get kicked out of the session. I've had to change my AFK method to that because they have patched everything else, but I recently went AFK for about two to three hours. That's why I have some money built up in the nightclub safe. And now I have $426,000 worth of stock to sell, which I'm going to do in an invite only session. Now I could do the sell mission in a public lobby with 25 or more people, but I just don't think it's worth the risk, especially when I'm only selling 450K worth of stock. And here we are at the final drop off. There you go. That should be $400,000 after Tony's cut. And now I'm going to do one more money method before we pick up the scramjet, because I don't believe I'll have enough money to upgrade it once we actually pick it up. And that is sell off my acid in my acid lab. Now, similar to my nightclub, I run this fairly passively where I just purchase my my supplies from Mutt and I had this running while AFK so once again I built up stock over time and now we could sell it for 237,000. Now usually I do these sell missions in public lobby with so 20 or more people to get a 50% high demand bonus similar to the nightclub but today I'm not going to do that simply because all I need is a couple hundred thousand in order to do all the upgrades I need for the scramjet. This sell mission is pretty straightforward though all I have to do is go to five different locations stash some acid and then take off. Now all I have to do is leave the area and that's going to be the end of the sell mission and we will have enough money to pick up the new scram jet so we should be just about ready there you go two hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars perfect 
Let's now buy the scramjet. All right, here we are on the website. Buy it now. Four million dollars. We're going to leave it in the auto shop. Once again, we've checked off another thing off the G10 line checklist. This is one of the many vehicles we have to buy in order to complete our challenge. So let's go customize it and test it out. Okay, so here we are in the MOC, and I'm going to customize the vehicle so that it looks a little bit cooler and performs better. The vehicle does already come with machine guns and missiles, so we don't have to buy that, which is lovely, but we still have to buy the rest of the upgrades. So we're going to increase the armor, increase the brakes engine. We're going for the best engine as well. For livery, I'm going to go with the classic flames because I do think it fits the car really well. I'm going to put the best transmission on the car, add turbo as well. And for the wheels, we're just going to make sure the tires are bulletproof. Perfect. So now that we are ready with the car, let's go test it out outside. Okay, so here we are on the freeway. And unfortunately, it's nighttime, so you can't see it too well. But overall, the performance of the car is decent. It's relatively quick. But of course, you're not buying it for that performance. You're buying it for its other advantages. So first off, you can actually, because it is a convertible, you can use your regular weapons in this vehicle if you'd like. But of course, you could also use the weapons that come with it, which are the machine gun right here and the homie missiles. And these homie missiles are fairly decent. We'll shoot one out there. Of course, we don't have any targets to lock onto, but they're comparable to something like the Vigilante, another weaponized vehicle, so they're relatively decent. That is just one benefit of it, though. The other benefit is the car, once you press X or whatever the equivalent is on your console, you get a rocket boost, which is amazing. And then the final cool perk of the car is if you press in on your left joystick, you actually get a jump. And if you combine that with a boost, you could fly really high as we could see here. So to end off today's video, I'm going to challenge myself to see if I could jump up onto the Maze Bank Tower with the Scramjet. I'm sorry, this camera angle is probably giving you a headache. So as I was saying, I'm going to try to land the Scramjet on the top of the Maze Bank Tower. And another challenge I'm going to try to do today is to jump across the Alamo Sea. And this one might be easier, but the first one I'm going to try is the Maze Bank Tower, which I've seen many people try on YouTube and it's definitely not easy, but it is possible. As a quick side note, though, I got to say the jump feature on this car is a ton of fun and it does make getting around the map a little bit easier in case you ever have to jump over traffic or jump over a building or something like that. When you mix it up with the boost, it is insane. But enough waffling, let's now get into trying to jump the building. And I think the best way to do it is going to be to drive up this ramp here hit the jump and then try to get the boost. So I'm, I'm just going to go into it first try, see what happens. Let's boot. Okay. This might take some time. All right. Take two. Can we do this? Jump, boost, and I hit the building, but there's no way I'm getting to the top of it this way. I don't even think I was close. So those two attempts failed miserably, but I'm going to give myself another 15 minutes to try to do it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've done it before and if you can do it in 15 minutes. All right, let's see what we got here. I think I got to go a little bit more vertical. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no. Can I get to the top, though? Not even close. All right, we got in a little bit of a pickle here, but luckily because we have the jump feature. Okay, let's try that again because you're in a pickle. Okay, I, I suck. Excuse me, you are in the way. And let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way up. Let's get to the top. Let's get to the top. Oh, my. No, 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 no. Is there any way to get back? Is there any way to... Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. No, not like this. Not like this. Oh, man. Five minutes into this, or no, 10 minutes into it, and I'm not even close. Okay, so I looked up a video on YouTube to see how to do it, and this person jumped from this direction. So I'm going to see if I could do this myself. I'm going to jump here, let it rock, and... Bro, I suck. I honestly thought I'd get this in 15 minutes, but I haven't clearly, so I'm just going to keep trying. Hopefully, I can get it soon. I think the thing I'm messing it up with is the amount that I'm pulling. Okay, just go right for the... Of course, that's my game plan. Go right for the palm tree. Wait, 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 wait. This might be it. This might be it. This might be it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I fumbled the bag. Wait, 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 wait. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Get to the top. Get to the top at least. Oh, no. No, I was so close. I was so close. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. This could be it. This could be it. No, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Could this be it? Could this be it? Don't tell me. I'm. I got the distance, but I moved to the left. You've got to be kidding me. Wait. 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 No. I did it. I did. No, that counts. That. No. No.
Could this be it? Could this be it? Could this be it? Could this be it? No, please, 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 please. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. Don't go too... Okay, please have a chance. Please have a chance. How? All right, this is going to be the last attempt I have here for the Maze Bank building, and then I'm going to head over to the Alamo Sea. Hopefully, I could get it on this one. This one... Okay, why do I keep... Tur like, oh, I'm going to have to try this in another episode. I'm actually going insane. Okay, I'm here at the base of Mount Chiliad, and I'm going to try to jump the Alamo Sea, which is right over here. Now, there is a little bit of a jump that I could hit here, a bump, and hopefully we could get across with the jump and the rocket boost, but you never know. Either way, this is going to be the last thing I do in today's episode, so I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm glad that we got another thing checked off the G10 line checklist, but with that being said, let's get into it. Hopefully, I do not fail. Where is my jump? Oh, it's right over here. Okay. Can I hit a boost? And there's is there any shot we make this i okay it's not looking promising nice